Good day. John Belcher, Law Offices of John Belcher. Uh, this week is the Chinese Lunar New Year, and the time of the red envelopes. Um, the red envelope is a tradition that goes back uh, very far in uh, Chinese history. Some say to the Han Dynasty, um, 202 BC to 202 AD. Uh, it not only is at uh, the Lunar New Year, but sometimes at weddings and other major occasions. Um, there's an envelope with another envelope inside and an amount of money that ends in an even amount because odd amounts are given at funerals. Um, and typically it's done with new bills. Uh, and it comes from the married to the unmarried, uh, elders to the children, um, and bosses <clears throat> to their subordinates. The red envelopes became subject to a lawsuit in Yunnan province in 2019, where a woman claimed that her divorced parents had taken her $9,000 in red envelope money, and never paid it to her. She was upset because she was paying her own tuition. Uh, she won uh, quite a lot of consternation about who really owned it, because in fact, it was relatively common practice for parents to say, well, I've spent all this money on my children and uh, really I deserve it. Uh, and it uh, resulted in um, a lot of discussion, uh, not only in China, but in the diaspora of uh, the uh, Chinese community and other, other countries. One company that uh, brilliantly uh, profited from the tradition of the red envelope was the messaging app WeChat. Uh, and WeChat came up with the idea, well, what if we set up a virtual red envelope that can be used to messenger funds over uh, our platform to the contacts that you have? Two years later, after the introduction of the WeChat red envelope app, uh, they went up to 32 billion virtual uh, envelopes uh, sent over the Chinese New Year holiday in uh, 2016. Uh, a, a, a brilliant tactic and a brilliant move, but one that reflects uh, the modern realities of how money is sent.